Hello everybody. It's a nice day in the fall and behind me you can see the fortress of Oskarsborg. The reason why um, I'm making this movie is because today I've dragged out a stereoscopic rangefinder. This movie is uh, shot at the, the battery of Husvik and up in the right corner you might be able to see the command post for this battery. Now, the reason for shooting at this exact location is that this equipment was brought to Norway and utilized at Oskarsborg Fortress by the Germans during the course of World War II. Oskarsborg is uh, famed for sinking the German battlecruiser Bleacher on the morning of 9th of April 1940. You see the gun battery at the left of the image as the torpedo battery is concealed at the right. Exactly where the Germans utilized this equipment is not known but uh, it must have been at one of the gun batteries surrounding the fortress or the fortress itself. I uh, do not know exactly how you should use it to measure the distance so if anyone has experience with this, this equipment I'd be very happy to hear from you. The cool thing about uh, this uh, setup is that both the stereoscopic rangefinder itself, the tripod, and this one, believed to be the calibration tool, all have the same serial number. It turns out that this rangefinder isn't exactly a German product. It's actually made by a French producer called OPL. I do not know whether the model 1934 means it's made in 1934 or it's just the type. Most probably it has been captured by the Germans in France and it has then been Nazified as all written language on it is in German. Neither of the parts have ever been repainted so they are in their original German luster. Leather straps are all original. I also have a German field telephone and as you might see it still has the German phonetic alphabet on the lid. This bracket is for attaching a lighted source. The set is now sold off to a professional collector and I truly hope he will enjoy it. So um, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed it.